This is your Benji read-along book. Every time you hear this chime, it means that you are to turn the page in your storybook. Now we are ready to begin our adventure into the land of fun. Open your book and we will start the story of Benji Goes to School. Remember, when you hear the chime, turn the page. The school bells filled the lovely autumn morning with their cheerful chimes. I called out to the children, hurry or you'll be late for school. Paul and Cindy, the children I took care of for Dr. Chapman, had been up late the previous night finishing book reports for school. I had breakfast waiting for them as they came into the kitchen. Now you children have to hurry. You don't want to be late. We'll hurry, Mary, said Paul as they sat down at the breakfast table. Just as the children were finishing their milk, we heard a familiar scratching at the back door. It's Benji, children. I'll give him something to eat and then he can walk with you to school. I opened the back door and Benji ran in, greeting each of us with a special bark. Benji, I said to him, you are going to have to eat very fast if you want to walk the children to school. Benji gulped his breakfast. He looked up at the children and started to bark. It was almost as if he were telling the children to hurry up. Cindy said to him, all right, Benji, we're hurrying. I hugged the children and then opened the door. I waved to them as they started down the road to school. I don't think Cindy and Paul could have had a better friend than Benji. My story gets more interesting here because when they arrived at school, Benji followed them into their classroom. When the teacher, Miss Turnberry, saw Benji standing next to the children, she said, Since Benji is so well behaved, he may stay in school with you today. Did you hear that, Benji? Paul cried out. You can stay in school with us. And since Benji did not want to disturb the class, he gave Paul a small bark that said, Won't we have fun today? The day moved on and Benji sat attentively listening to the teacher tell the children about spelling and arithmetic and history. But then a terrible thing happened. Miss Turnberry said, Now, children, open your notebooks to your book reports. You are going to read them out loud to the class. Well, when Cindy and Paul opened their notebooks, they found that their book reports were missing. Paul whispered to Cindy, We were in such a hurry this morning that we forgot to put our book reports into our notebooks. Cindy asked, What are we going to do? We left them on the desk in our room. What can we do? Paul thought for a moment, hmm. and a smile lighted up his face. <gasps> Cindy asked, Paul, what are you thinking? This is no time to smile. Oh, yes it is, because we are going to get our book reports to school. But how? asked Cindy. Paul leaned down and whispered into Benji's ear. Go home, boy, and get our book reports. They're on the desk in our room. Benji sat up and let out a little bark. He ran out of the schoolroom and raced as fast as he could back to the house. I was in the kitchen when I heard Benji barking outside. I opened the door and asked Benji what was wrong. Benji ran through the kitchen and into the hallway. Then he ran up the stairs to the children's room. I followed him into the room and asked, Benji, what are you doing in here? He ran over to the children's desk and stood up on his hind legs. He pulled a stack of papers off the desk. As I started to pick up the papers, I realized what they were. These were the book reports the children had worked on so diligently. I knew that Benji had been sent home to bring them to school. I put them into an envelope and put it into Benji's mouth and told him to hurry back to school. Meanwhile, Paul and Cindy were beginning to worry that Benji would not make it back to school in time. Just as Miss Turnberry was about to call on Paul for his book report, Benji came dashing into the room. What is the meaning of this? Asked Miss Turnberry. Well, said Paul, we left our book reports at home this morning, and I told Benji to go home and get them for us. And did he bring them to you? Asked Miss Turnberry. He did. They're right here, answered a very happy Paul. Well, that dog is a wonder. It was lucky for you that Benji came to school this morning. Now, Paul, you may read your book report and then Cindy may read hers. 
The children received A's on their book reports, and even Benji earned a gold star that Miss Turnberry pasted onto his collar. Benji was very proud. He liked going to school. He felt it was a wonderful place, and since he was the only dog there, he felt very special. And you and I both know that Benji is a special dog. That is why we love him so much. Ha, <laughs> ha,